Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tiffany Jetter. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are brand new. I am so excited to have you here. It is Vlogmas day number two. Yeah, this actually wasn't supposed to be my number two video. I was going to have a Christmas decor video come up, but at the last minute I did decide to show y'all what I'm getting my girls for, uh, what I'm putting in their stockings for Christmas. Um, so yeah, if you are new and new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Join me here. Sometimes I sing, sometimes I'm weird, but I'm just so excited. Join me here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this kind of content and I will keep doing it. I did straighten my hair. Uh, it's still got some wavy kinks in it, but you know, that's how it goes. My hair has definitely faded, y'all. Look at the roots coming in. I know that's not what this video is about, but I'm like, ugh. Anyway, yeah, this is my life. Okay, so about their stockings. So I have a seven-year-old Abigail and a 12-year-old, almost 13-year-old Penelope. This is her birthday month. We're super excited. Um, yes, so these are their stockings. They're very simple. Um, I think I got these a couple of years ago. And honestly, I think they're from Dollar, either Dollar Tree or Walmart. They were like 98 cents. So they just, they're really simple. Um, this one, maybe in a few years, I'll order some nice ones on Amazon and have their name on it. But they did this. This is Penelope's, her initial, because Penelope's kind of a long name. So she just got like glue and glitter and put PJ for Penelope Jetter. And then Abigail's is uh, Abby. I don't know if y'all can see that. and has a heart. So very simple stockings. You know, I spend so much money on the gifts, so... Yeah, the stockings are what they are. Anyway, what's this, what's inside that matters? So, you guys, my husband actually gave me, we decided on like $20 for stocking stuffers. So, $10 for one kid, $10 for another kid. Well, I went a little overboard. I went to Dollar Tree and, uh, you know, Dollar Tree just sucks me in. I was going to do some at Dollar General too and get like a few different ones like a little bit more expensive stocking stuffers but then I was like you know guess so $29 I don't know if all this stuff will fit in their stockings but I just want to say maybe don't go as crazy as I did but I do want to say don't think that Do Dollar Tree is just where it's at let me just tell you y'all know I love Dollar Tree and I just found a lot of stuff that they like that fits to their personality um, hopefully they won't watch this video and let's get started. So I'm going to start with my seven year old Abigail. And like I said, I haven't filled the stockings yet. I just bought this stuff yesterday. Um, so, and it's got to be an even amount. It has to, because they always check if it's an even amount. Okay. So I got this for Abigail, my seven year old. It's a little Barbie thing. It's a little like doggy and container and a little bone. She loves playing with horses and animals, so I thought that she would like that. Um, I also got her this lip gloss. It says super sweet. She loves lipsticks. Oh, she doesn't wear lipstick. She's only seven. Um, she, wear, she loves to wear glosses. She's always coming in my room and asking me if she can play with my lip glosses. So I definitely wanted to get her that. Another thing Abigail really loves is to do her nails. I'm serious. This kid wants to change the color of her nails every day. So she wants a ton of nail polish. I'm just hoping it doesn't get on furniture. Anyway, if it does, I'm sure there's a way to remove it. Um, so I got her this little, this one looks like clear, but glitter polish. Just like a little kitty one. But I did get her a few kind of more adult ones, which I will show you. Uh, it's a dorm and it does say not tested on animals formulated without parabens So that is always good um, And then another thing I got was this frosty the snowman Scented bath bomb crumbles. So this looks pretty fun Parents sprinkle two tablespoons of bath bomb crumbles under warm running water and watch the water color and bubble so she'll like that. She loves baths and, you know, what kid wouldn't like that? Um, I did put, but for but each of the kids, I put their favorite candy. I remember my mom used to put an orange in my stocking and I got like a pair of socks and like one other thing. So that, and I was happy with that. Um, but I put their, um, their favorite candy. Abigail loves Kit Kats. 
So I got that for her. Once again, she's obsessed with the nails and she's been asking me if she could have some like fake nails to put on. So these are some cute little nails and they're like stick-ons. Very cute. And then these are, no, toe se separators. So she can use this to like paint her toes and like separate her toes. And it's very glittery. Um, and then I got her this LOL glitter bath balm. I think that that looks really fun. She loves LOL stuff. Tense your bath water with bright colors. Cotton candy scented. Okay. Once again, with nails, I just know like what my individual, which kid likes what. Gosh, I got this one piece that's like wavy. Um, and so I got her this, she's loving the Descendants. So I also got her these Descendant nail stickers. So those are really cute. Her sister went through a phase where she really loved um, the Descendants and now Abigail's going through it. And then I did get her a few like more nail polishes. Um, I thought were really pretty. This is LA Colors, like a pretty pink. Does it have a name? No, it doesn't have a name, but it's like a pretty pink color. And then I got this glittery nail polish, pink nail polish that she could put on top of that. So super, super pretty. I'm serious. She changes. She loves to paint her nails. That's just what she loves to do. And then one last thing I got for Abigail for her stocking is this. I saw this really pretty uh, silver glittery one, which hopefully I don't re regret buying this. Um, but I got her that. So I think that she'll love all of that stuff. And if all of this stuff doesn't fit in her stocking, I think it will now that I'm looking at it. Um, I think it will fit in her stocking. If it doesn't, I'll just put it near her stocking. Um, okay, let's go on to Penelope, who is my 12-year-old. Um, now, I do want to say about Penelope, she, she may be a future esthetician. She loves um, skin. She st studies it, like seriously. And, like, she's always asking me, Mom, do you think I have oily or dry skin? And it just baffles me because I never thought about skin when I was 12. But, anyway, people are different these days. And, you know, oh, this is bugging me. Um, so, anyway, she um, she loves skin. She loves to study about skin. She watches skincare videos. And she's, like, even tells me, like, Mom, maybe you shouldn't use that. So, I really feel like she knows what she's talking about. She may be a fu future esthetician. I don't know. Right now, she's telling me she wants to go into politics, too. But, you know, kids change a thousand times. Okay. So, anyway, um, I started out. I got her this rose gold sheet mask. First of all, who doesn't like the rose gold? That's such a pretty color. And she's always, like I said, she's obsessed with skincare. Um, she's also concerned about her eyes. Um, anyway, I got her these hot, cold... Um, for puffy eyes, so I got her those. I actually got her a lot of eye stuff. I got her this eye mask that was really cute, and it says five more minutes. I think that's really pretty. And then I got her this gel bead eye mask, and it says to cool, place in the refrigerator for no more than 60 minutes, or in the freezer for no more than 10 minutes. Apply gently to the eye area for no more than 15 minutes. So, hopefully she likes all that stuff. Um, and then I did get her this little pedicure and manicure set. I think she would like that. She's not quite as obsessed with um, as nail stuff as my other daughter, but she still likes it. And then Penelope's favorite candy is this Sour Punch Strawberry Straws. So, I made sure to pick those up. It, it's, it was either this or Skittles, but I didn't see Skittles, so I got that for her. Another thing I got for her is I noticed that she was looking and saying the last time we were in Dollar Tree, she wanted clip, hair clips like this. My mom actually used to use a lot of these clips, so I got her those. Um, going back to the whole skincare thing, I got her this gold gel face mask from Global Beauty Care. We're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of spa days, I think, up ahead. A lot of 
And I also got Penelope this um, bath balm, cotton candy scented. She was telling me she wanted bath bombs. And I also got her this Age Defined Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Um, this little thing that's supposed to get rid of bags under your eyes and stuff like that. I know she's only 12, but she complains about it. She is half Indian. And um, I think anybody gets baggy eyes, baggy eyes, puffy eyes. But anyway... Maybe she'll get, I've, I've picked this up before too. I don't know what happened. Um, and then last but not least, I got Penelope, this Lip Smackers. And I had to get this be, with Olaf on it because she is obsessed with Olaf. Anything that has Olaf on it, she wants. And one thing I did get both of my girls that's going to be the same thing is when I was going to check out, I saw this Airheads Watermelon Gum. So yeah, they love gum. They're obsessed, just like my husband. So, yeah, that is what is going all in their stocking. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you ideas. If maybe you didn't think about Dollar Tree before, um, you know, Dollar Tree is a great place, and it's not that much money to spend. Unless you go overboard like me and you just see everything. That's how they get you every time. So, yes, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Have a great day. I was going to say have a great Christmas, but Christmas is still a few days away. Days away. But thank you so much for watching, y'all. Make sure to give it a like. Um, and I will see y'all in my next... I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.